Welcome to the channel. I'm That Chemist, and today I'm going to talk about using reference managers as a way to very easily arrange your reference sections for any papers. This is applicable for high school students, for undergrads, as well as grad students writing papers. So first, what you have to do is have a paper that you have to write. So if your teacher is assigned something where you have to write a reference section, if you need to format it for MLA or APA or some specific scientific journal, that's fine. That's super easy to do, and we're going to get into that. So there's this free program called Mendeley, which you can download at mendeley.com. This works for Windows as well as Mac. And so once you've downloaded this, you're going to have an interface that looks like this. And if you go to Tools, there's a button that says Install Microsoft Word Plugin. Once you install this Word plugin, what it will do is it will give you a section in Microsoft Word where if you go to Review, uh, or References rather, you'll add the Mendeley Cytomatic tab. And this is where you're going to be able to insert a reference and make sure that it's in the style that you want. But first, let's download a paper. So here's a paper from 2019 in the Journal of Organic Chemistry. Here we can see it gives us the DOI, which is the Digital Object Identifier, which is common for research articles, even old ones now have digital object identifiers. And we could download this using our university's credentials if we're part of a university. However, if we don't have access, there's this great free open source thing called Sci-Hub, where you can just paste in the DOI, click enter. You can just stick the DOI in after sci-hub.se slash paste in the DOI. That will take us right to this PDF of the article and they'll give us the whole article. Okay, so we can download that using the download button and that works fine. Okay. So now that we have that downloaded, we can actually just drag and drop that right in to our Mendeley. So let's drag that into here. So here is an article that we just added. Let's add in some more articles that I downloaded here. And so you can see that there's a list of articles downloaded here. Okay, so if we're not sure if the metadata is correct, what we want to do is we want to find that DOI and we want to click the magnifying glass. And so it will update this to make sure that all of the data is correct. In fact, from the article that we just downloaded here, let's drag this directly from uh, Google Chrome right into the program, and you can do that as well. And so here we can see that the title of this paper is right. And if we're not sure if this DOI is correct, we can go back to Google, copy it directly from the search uh, from the search pane, and post paste it into Mendeley. So here you can see I'm pasting it in. Um, it might be cut off on your screen, so I will just reduce the size of this for a moment. And we can click on that little magnifying glass, okay? And so now what that's done is it's updated all of the metadata for this so that it's all correct. Okay, great. Now, if we want to reference this in our paper, we can see that the title of this is Synthesis of 512-Diazapentacines and Their Properties. Um, it might be easier for us to remember that it was Garcia or the year 2019. And so as long as you remember something like that, some piece of the metadata that we can easily reference it in Word. So here we have a sentence that we want to cite. Um, now, instead of using the typical citations and bibliography portion of Word, which you might use when you're doing references, instead you're going to use the Mendeley Cytomatic and you're going to click Insert Citation. And so we know that Garcia was the name of the author. And because there is only one author in here, from this uh, from this page, um, it should just be the first thing that we click on. Now you can see that I have a list of many other uh, references that it's trying to search from. So I had to dig through and find Garcia 2019. And so we do OK. Mendeley quickly like pops it in and then it adds a little reference in the style that you're trying to format to. So let's say I wanted to also reference another paper. So here we have this base catalyzed transesterification of thionoesters. I can just copy the title and then let's assume that we wanted to paste that in here. So we just paste in the title here, and then we do OK, and it has just put in the citation to the style that we were wanting to have. Now, let's say that we're at the end of our paper and we want to insert our bibliography. We just click Insert Bibliography, and this will be referenced to the correct style of the journal that we're copying. So in this case, the style that I'm referencing in is Angevanta Chemie. Let's say that you wanted to do APA, which is the American Political Science Association. You just click APA, it fully updates the entire document so that it's referenced to the style that you would have for that journal. So here you can see it's changed the reference style as well as the bibliography section. Now if you wanted to change it to something like Chicago, you literally just click Chicago and the whole thing changes. If we wanted to go to something more obscure, we can type in get more styles. So let's say that we wanted to do the journal Organometallics. 
Okay, here we see uh, Organometallics. We'll click Install. We've now installed it. Let's also say maybe we're trying to decide where we're going to publish and we want to have the Organometallic Chemistry Journal installed as well. So we'll install that. It instantly installed. Done. And now we can just choose um, from more styles, Organometallic. Okay, Journal of Organometallic Chemistry. Let's do that. Okay, done. And so now we've referenced everything to the style of Organometallics. And so instead of having to spend multiple days doing this, we can do this just in a matter of seconds. So hopefully this was useful. It's a rather short video, but knowing how to do reference managing is like a real big deal. And I've used this for every research paper that I've authored. If you like this style of video, and if you have any comments or questions, I encourage you to leave them below. Um, and it would really help out the channel if you left a like and subscribed. Have a great day.